Hey guys, just a quick recap on the previous episode of the wet market tour in Vietnam. If you missed it, I will leave a link below this video for you to go check out. Now we were there to shop for some water chestnuts and that's what I was eating and some Vietnamese desserts and we are going to go home to make some imitation pomegranate seeds. I was curious about how they make this. It is a traditional topping that they like adding to their desserts. You can buy them quite easily out there, but because I was curious, I wanted to make it at home. So we got the ingredients for it. I'm going to pour out the water chestnuts. Just wash it, you know, draining, picking off any kind of, you know, imperfections. I'm going to cut them up in small chunks, tiny little things just like the pomegranate seeds. Now pomegranates grow, they actually don't grow well in the tropics, nor do they like this kind of the tangy sourness to it in the sweet desserts, but they do like how beautiful they look, like beautiful red gems. That's why we're going to be adding the red coloring in there. And I would recommend checking out like a food coloring that's more like natural and um, yeah, just, just check on the label and make sure it's as natural as possible. And we mixed it up and we're going to mix, that is some tapioca starch flour that we mixed into it. Just mix it really well until it's coating all the surface. Just giving it a quick shake to get them nice and even. Make sure they're all sticking to the water chestnuts and then we are going to put it through a sift to sift off any of the excess um, tapioca starch. Next, we are going to bring a pot of water to boil and carefully pour this in, boiling it for about a few minutes or until the tapioca starch turns clear and that's when you would drain it. Now tapioca starch turns clear and they also give that really nice chewiness to the desserts which is what you know the texture of the boba pearls from the milk tea that you've seen in a lot of like Asian drinks. So we drained it with cold water and poured it in ice. The ice would help to stop the cooking process which would keep the water chestnuts inside crunchy and the outside chewy. Okay, I'm going to try it by itself. Mm. I cut the pieces too big, yeah. so you're tasting a lot of the chest water chestnuts, which I like, but we're missing the coating is really thin now that the chestnut is so big, so it's not as chewy as it should have been. It doesn't taste like much by itself, but Vietnamese desserts, what it's about is a good mixture of everything going into the coconut cream or coconut milk. And so when you pick up that scoop, you get a little bit of everything and together is what makes it taste really delicious. Mm. Oh, that's so good.